day one of our speed workout. This first speed workout is going to focus primarily on linear speed. We're going to start with the hip warm up wake up circuit and then slowly progress through different sections of the workout into some explosive bounding and then finish out with some linear speed and sprinting. Follow the workout in order by each section so that you're prepared for the next part of the plan. All right, so we're gonna go through a hip mobility series right here real quick. Start off with your hips angled to the side. You're gonna try to keep your hands up the entire set. Step one, roll the hips over to the side. Bridge up, swing the hip, stretch in the hip flexor, rock back, stretch the hamstring, back forward on the hip, step up to a squat, elbows push the knees out. Inside leg steps back, roll all the way back over, and then repeat to the other side. So flip the hips, bridge up, swing the leg, lean in, stretching the hip flexor, rock back, stretching the hamstring, back forward on the hip, step up, elbows press the knees out, chest is up, inside leg steps back, bring back down to the start. This is our ankle activation warm up. We're gonna start off by placing some cones out about 10 yards apart and work these drills in different series of five to 10 yards. I'm gonna go one drill into the next the same way you would do it in your warm up at home. So the first exercise that we're gonna do is the ankle bounce. So I'm gonna work five yards, walk five yards, five yards and walk for five, repeating that three times in a row. I'm gonna start up here on my toes, get into a bounce every time I hit the ground I'm pulling the toes up to the shin, working for five yards, and I'm gonna walk it out. Back on again, five yards on the bounce, and walk it out. Repeating one more time for a third time. The big thing here again is that every time I hit the ground, I'm pulling those toes up. And All right, the next exercise that we're gonna work is backward dorsiflexion. So I'm working on the ankle mobility and sitting back through the ankle and through the shin. I'm going to start off walking back here, drive down, flex at the ankle, and then walk back into the next step. Drive down, flex it, walk back. Every three steps here, I'm hitting a stretch and I'm holding for two seconds at the bottom on each one. After I take that for 10 yards, I'm going to do a backwards reach walk. So I'm going to reach back and balance, reach, balance. Every time, getting good balance before I go into my next step. Then I'm going into a jump, so a single leg jump, working backwards, jump and stick, jump and stick, jump and stick. Every time, balance, moving back. Finish it out. After we hit the backward walk series, we're going right into a backward reach run. It should almost feel like a backward bound. I'm gonna start out up tall, bring the heel to butt, kick and reach back in every stride. Every step I'm taking, I'm reaching, long stride, pedaling back. We're gonna start off on our back, toes pointed straight ahead, lift it up so the weight's on my heels. I'm gonna bridge up, squeeze the glutes, pause at the top, and control it back down. Bridge all the way up, lock out the hips, and control it back down. I'm working 10 reps there. Next, I'm going to single leg bridge. I got my knee up, toe up. I'm bridging up and pause. Bring it back down. Five reps with a pause, and then we're gonna work five where we're coming up fast, down slow. So we're up fast, control it back down. Up fast, control it back down. Every time I touch the ground, I'm popping up. Five controlled, and then five with that fast to slow. And finish those, going into the hamstring work. Arms are out to the side, I'm going cross body, reach here and I turn my head the opposite way. So I kick my leg this way, I turn my head opposite, I'm bringing that foot all the way over and across the body. Five reps on each. Then we're going straight ahead. Arms out to the side, bring it up, five with a pause. So all the way up, pause at the top, and then five fast, kicking them out. From there, we're bringing the knee up to the chest. From this, I'm locking the knee all the way out. Two seconds, bring it back down. 
lock it out, two seconds, bring it back down, and then five, continuous. Hit that on both sides. The last drill is for the hip flexor. So I'm here, I'm bringing it up, knees up, and I'm gonna push down and hold. One, two, three, release. Bring it back up, push. One, two, three, release. And bring it back. Five of those on each side to finish it out, get everything ready to go. Okay, going through our dynamic flexibility work. The first one that we're gonna do is a walking hip flexor series. Every stretch working 10 yards at a time in a row. The first one, I'm stepping out into a lunge, take the knee all the way down to the ground, lean in, arms are raised up, two second hold, and then I'm switching over, stepping to the other side, lean into it, good two second pause at the bottom, into the stretch. Take your time on it, every single one, make sure that you're getting a good stretch, don't rush it. After I'm finished up there, I'm going into a walking quad and reach stretch. So I'm going from here, same arm, same leg, quad, and I pull and reach. Get a little bit of stretch on the hamstring as well. Alternate to the other side, quad, and reach. Work on balance, control, pulling this leg straight back to get a good stretch. When I finish the quad and reach, then I'm going into more of a hip flexor reach. So now it's gonna be more vertical, and I'm gonna grab opposite arm to opposite leg. So opposite arm to leg here, and reach vertical. Walk it out, switch it up, reach vertical. Trying to get all the way up on my toes, full extension into every stretch. And that's the end of the hip flexor series. After that, we're going right into a walking hamstring. So for the hamstring, we're gonna start off with a lunge and rock back to get a good hamstring stretch at the knee. I'm lunging it out, taking my elbow down to the ground, and then rock back and stretch the hamstring. Come up, walk it, elbow down to the ground, rock back, and hit the hamstring. You wanna get a little bit extra on the low back, you can also add a rotation to this. Lunge it down, rock back, and then rotate to get a stretch through the back as well. Show that one one more time. Lunge it out, take the elbow down to the ground, rock back, and then finish with the rotation. The next one in series is going to be a hamstring we call scoop walk. So I'm here, I'm sitting back at the hips and reaching down, scoop through the ground. Walk it out, reach down, scoop through the ground. Wanna make sure I'm hinging and sitting the hips back. Feel that hamstring stretch as I come through. For the next part of it, now I'm bringing it up high into a hamstring march. I'm controlling my arms here, so I'm working arm action. Just like I'm sprinting, I'm kicking this leg up and bring it back down. Kick up and bring it back down. I'm getting full extension up on the toes and trying to bring that leg up as high as I can. All right, after the dynamic hamstring warm-up, we're going into what we call a reflex hamstring. So it's gonna be a little bit more explosive, a little bit faster through that hamstring muscle group. Same march, but now here in the march, we're gonna reflex and bring it down fast off the ground. So I'm kicking up and then snap down into the ground. It's all about how fast I get to the top and snap it back to the bottom. I'm working my arms, arms up, and pulling the elbows back every time. Double arm action with that hamstring reflex off the ground. I'm working that for 10 yards. Then we're gonna go into what we call skip rhythm hamstring. So I'm going through that same hamstring kicking motion, but I'm gonna start on a bounce, three bounces, up and down. Three bounces, up and down. So kinda hit one, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. Finishing 
I'm going into straight, continuous, hamstring skip, chest up, good arm action, coming back. We're now into the explosive prep portion of the linear speed workout. The first exercise that we're going to do is a decel drop into a split stance and then burst out. So I'm starting off up on my toes, drive down, opposite arm, opposite leg, stick it. Up on the toes, alternate, drop to the other side. Toes, drop, up on the toes, drop. When I hit my number of reps, I'm holding the last one and drive out. Split stance plyo start. For this exercise, I'm going to start in a split stance position and hit three lunge jumps, switching the feet in the air. On the landing of the third jump, I'm going to burst out as hard and as fast as I can. So half speed right here, got a foot out in front, I'm jumping up, one, two, three, and drive and burst out. One more time on the drill, starting here, foot's out in front, arms are cocked back, weight's on the front foot, I'm jumping up, one, two, three, and burst. Acceleration bound. For this exercise, we're going to get a jog into it to build a little bit of speed, and then we're bounding one step right into the next. It's important that I get up into a good knee up, toe up position at full extension every time I'm hitting the bound, and I want to emphasize speed and force off the ground. Hit the ground hard and fast, be explosive into the next rep, and again, I'm hitting that hang time in the air, knees up, toes up, good arm action with the elbow pulled back. This is what it looks like. push-up start. We're going to work this push-up start kind of in a two-phase call. So it's going to be a set to a go, which means we're going to pop up straight into the start position on the set and then go. We're sprinting out straight ahead. So I'm be on my chest right here. If I know I'm going left foot in front, I'm coming set, go, and I'm driving and bursting out. Make sure you're alternating legs on the reps so you practice a sprint with each leg forward. So one time full go, I'm down here on my chest. Think it up on the set, set, go, and finish. Half kneeling start. For the setup position in this one, I want to make sure this foot's flat on the ground. That gives me room to lean on it later on. Then I'm taking my arms and I'm setting up opposite arm, opposite leg with the elbow pulled back. Once my arms are set, I'm going to lean onto that front leg, loading up the balls of my foot and 45 degrees pointed forward at the shin. From this position, I can jump out and attack into the sprint. I need to make sure that I have my weight forward and emphasize jumping off the front leg. So one more time, foot's flat, arms are cocked back, leaning in on it, and then I jump out, push, and start. 